Okay, welcome back to the Bridge Broadcast. We are doing something different for this episode. So I have five of us doing a podcast episode about our favorite sports movies. So what we're going to do is I have Bailey, Daniela, Coach Sydney, and Thomas. And basically for however amount of time, you're going to listen to us argue and debate sports, the top five sports movies. At the end of this episode, hopefully we'll have decided the top five sports movies that represent bridge lacrosse so how y'all doing good 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 all right so let's take two seconds do you guys want to do like a quick intro of yourself sure oh uh, my name is Daniela. i'm a sophomore at irma and go and i've been playing for bridge for three years i'm bailey i'm a sophomore and i've been playing at bridge for two years now sounds about right Coach Sydney, Bridge alum, and I've also been coaching for two years. My name is Thomas, and um, I've been playing for, I can't even remember, like four years, and I go to Barack Obama. All right, so like I said in the intro, the five of us represent the voices to come up with the Bridge family's top five sports movies. So let's do this. What makes a good sports movie? Like an epic final scene. Like, Big game where they hash it out. Okay. So you like like you want the grand finale then? Mm-hmm. For All sure. Right. Well, it makes a good sports movie is a, a good sports scene. Like a really good sports scene. Like give us an example though. In in the Rocky series and the Creed series, they all have like um one good boxing match out of that whole movie. And it's like even though they have like two or three box matches in total, it'll be like one good one. It's just like it defines that movie. Isn't that, that's what Bailey just said, like a grand finale. Well, well, no. Well, it doesn't have to be the finale, though. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, what yeah, else? Because, like, cause like, in Rocky IV, Ivan Drago versus Apollo Creed was a really good fight, but it wasn't at the end. I got you. Like a training scene, you know, where, yeah. like, they sort, of, they sort of all suck in the beginning, and then they have, like, a five-minute montage of them just getting in shape. And there's, like, an epic song playing in the background. Absolutely. That's always fun. I watched Miracle last night. The yes. whole montage of them prepping oh, before, so I think, their first overseas game was awesome. I think a good sports movie has to have an underdog aspect to really make it great. Most do, right? I feel yeah, like most I feel sport- like most do. Pretty much every sports movie, there is that aspect. No one wants the big dogs to win. <laughs> <clears throat> Mm-mm. Um, they pretty much said everything, but the way that they represent the sport, like they make it seem like it's this great thing. It's this grand, this really good sport that everybody watches, and like just a representation of it. Yeah. What else? Yeah, I think it's also got to have some conflict within the team that oh, they solve, good. and then they all love each other at the end. Yeah. Well, that, but um, but also like, there's got to be a, a bad guy. Yeah. Like yeah. there's got to be the other team that they paint to be like, the you best. know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These really good, really skilled team, but they're like jerks and. Someone has to be rich. Team Iceland in Mighty Ducks 2. <laughs> uh, let's set some ground rules for this thing. Okay. Our job is to take a hundred sports movies and get it down to a list of five. I think maybe we could evolve it to 10. Let's just make a pass at all these movies or we'll, we'll start with movies that we think have to be on this list and we can toss the ones that we're like, nah, that's not going to make the cut. And then we'll just slowly whittle it down to 10, five or 10. And then from there, I think we can rank, start to rank them. Right. So if we know that Caddyshack, which probably not, or Crooked Arrows has to be on this list, like we'll just keep it up there. And then we can start to kind of rotate the ones we want, you know, in order. Sound all right. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to read out all the movies that I essentially kind of like almost like nominations, like, to consider again no particular order here we go karate kid room of the titans miracle bennett's war space jam longest yard trouble with the curve coach carter i tanya medicine game caddyshack hardball hoosiers invincible bring it on soul surfer blindside mighty ducks air bud crooked arrows bend it like beckham gridiron gang kicking and screaming little giants big green league of their own bill durham field of dreams which is classic Rocky, Rudy, mm-hmm. Moneyball, Glory, uh, uh, Moneyball, Cool Runnings, Glory Road, Sandlot, and Friday Night Lights. I had totally forgotten about Friday Night Lights. We have that. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's I think so, I need to. Have you? It's so good. 
So I was putting this list together and people were sending me like their favorite movies. And I was, I com- totally forgot about League of Their Own. I totally forgotten about Cool Running. So yeah, this is going to be Soul not- Surfer. That one's really good. I hadn't seen, I hadn't seen that before. There's definitely movies on here. I've like, I've not seen every one of these movies by any means. Mm-hmm. So the other thing I want to add in here, and this should have gone back into ground rules is there are some movies in here that may not be super appropriate for our whole age base. So let's kind of consider that. I think for parameter, probably I think not Talladega Nights. <laughs> I think maybe we got we got to get rid of Talladega Nights and probably Caddyshack. I guess that means no <laughs> semi pro then. That's fair. Actually, I never saw semi pro. I mean, listen, I love Will Ferrell, but that may not be. <laughs> we also got to remember that these movies we want them to represent Bridge too. We can have fun with it, obviously, but I don't think we can have a list of 10 Will Ferrell movies. <laughs> Not that that's a bad list. <laughs> I just don't know if that's how we want to whittle this down. So it'll be interesting to kind of see the age dynamic play in this too. I put up a poll on Instagram about the better long or which longest yard version and almost unanimously everyone <laughs> preferred the Adam Sandler version, which I get, mm-hmm. but I don't think we can downplay Burt Reynolds uh, in the first version. So I'm just saying. Well, yeah, because, well, the only reason a lot of people would choose Adam Sandler is not mainly because of age, just because that one is w- way more um, memorable. Let's kind of go down the list. I say we start with movies that they just, they ha- we have to talk about them. And I think the first one we have to talk about, because it's come up, is Miracle. Oh. Coach David, what about mm-hmm. Uncle Drew? I haven't seen Uncle Drew. And Uncle Drew is based on a Pepsi commercial. I don't know if that's, like, going to make my, that's not going to make my, my top man. five. My man, that is... That movie's amazing. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I just, I think that the foundation is not as strong as some of the other, other movies. But it's a good Pepsi movie. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Miracle. Why is Miracle on our list? Like, or why should USA. it be on this list? Yeah. USA Pride. <laughs> Me too. Mm-hmm. It's, I think it's because it's so, like, like, when I watched it, I watched it last night, and it made me want to go, like, work on like getting better at lacrosse i think it just motivates people to do what they need to do to get to a higher level yeah it's super motivational inspiring yeah i think the fact that it was a true story also kind of makes it more you know it makes it more powerful i like the beginning of the movie too it's a lot of exposition but i like the beginning of the movie too when it goes through the 70s 60s and 70s history a little bit and obviously there was like a lot of rocky uh, events throughout that time period and this sort of was this culminating event of patriotism and pride. Everything was kind of building towards this, this type of victory. It was a lot more significant than just a hockey game. Hmm. Thomas, have you seen Miracle? Are we leaving you out no, here? Sir. No, sir. I haven't seen the movie. Uh, okay. Well, you're, you're useless in this conversation then. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. It's, a, it's really good. Yeah, it's on Netflix, man. I think Miracle stays. So the other one that's come up a million times, Rumor of the Titans. That one, I think, is oh, argu- arguably makes it to the second round. How about that? Yes. Why is Remember the Titans awesome? Because, like, well, it's specifically going through the time of segregation, I believe. So it's like a team of a team of kids from different races and different beliefs and places and stuff. They just um, bond together to, you know win and become a team and then it's the relationship between I forgot who the two characters was well they were like from two different two different places and stuff and they had two different views two different families and stuff and it was just like they just bonded and became best friends and so yeah I think that's a good point to hone in on Thomas is just like the diversity issue like I think obviously that's a big part of the DNA bridge and having like these Mm -hmm. multicultural you know this very wide spectrum demographic within the organization Right. Yeah, the also like spoiler alert, the plot twist was insane. Which was what? Where he gets hit by a car. Don't you feel like you saw that, that coming was, though? Yeah. A little bit like five seconds before everything was like a little bit too loud and exactly. then you heard the piano start coming in. Oh no. Oh no. Like everything's going too well. <laughs> Apparently they solved racism. Now something bad has to happen. <laughs> yeah, when did it take place? Like late sixties? Uh, that's a good question. I think some, probably somewhere around that 70s. It's got to be, I think, 70s. Remember the Titan State makes it the second round. What other movies are, do we need to consider for second round? Longest Shards come up quite a bit. The Water Boy. Oh, uh, we haven't talked about The Water Boy. Hold on, Sandlot's in there. Sandlot, I think, needs to be discussed. Why? 
it's pure humor. Yeah, it's like iconic. It's a it's a classic movie for sure. It's got a yeah, lot of good yeah. uh, memorable qu- memorable quotes that you can go back to. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, it's, it's got a, t-shirts. It's <laughs> a very Ooh. it's a very quote heavy movie. You're right. Mm-hmm. I was doing the s'mores quotes. I do it every year <laughs> spring training when we go out to the camp when we do our campfire. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thomas, you've seen Sandlot, yeah. right? Uh, I can't remember. I probably oh, all right. I'm gonna. I gotta, <laughs> We're just gonna kick him off this podcast, guys. <laughs> no, I've, seen it. I've seen it. I just didn't see the whole movie. I only saw like the end. I like that you guys like Sandlot because Sandlot came out, you know, in my kind of era before. It like holds up, right? It stands the test of time yeah. because it's such an iconic summer. When you think of summer, that's what you think of. You think oh, of yeah. just running around with your friends, getting into trouble you know, hanging out and, you know, the pool and sports, everything like that, you know, picnics and fireworks. It's like such an iconic American summer. The mm-hmm. other thing that I think stands out too that I love is the that blog. the what? What was it? The dog part? Yeah. 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 When they, when they have to go find mm-hmm. uh, the, beast. the beast, but I think the That's reason the only part I remember. Yeah. And that dog was like terrifying, but I think mm-hmm. the other thing I like about it too, is that it's kind of how we all started playing sports. We found some friends, we went in the backyard, found a park, and just like kind of goofed <laughs> off. It wasn't right. a lot of these movies that we're talking about are pro sports, college sports, like they're pretty high level. These are just a bunch yeah. of kids who are just like goofing off. And I and I think that's what for me, that's what stands out, right? Because that's what I love. Yeah. I love like old school backyard lacrosse or basketball or you know, pickup games. All right. Well, also, it's back yeah. to the whole go ahead like the origin of everything yeah it gives a good example of like that one kid that's super committed and then goes pro and then all of them they just they just get to sit back and watch oh yeah i like the i like the yeah the uh the outro is pretty good of just where is everyone mm-hmm. now and he's the announcer i love that i've got on this list and again this list is not in a particular order i wrote down uncle drew how do we feel about uncle drew guys amazing um, absolutely amazing I've never seen it. Never seen yeah, it. Yeah, I've never seen. Uh, All right, I'm gonna put it in a holding pattern, Thomas, because you are one of four here. What about Karate Kid? Oh yes. Which one? Which That's one? That's a good one. The newer version. That's a good question, though. The old one. What version are we talking about? I think if it's a franchise, I think it's worth at least for this discussion to take the franchise as a whole. So like Karate Kid, Rocky, Air Bud. I think we need to take those as like a whole rather than di- trying to dissect each movie. Mm-hmm. Well, you the mean, are you... one was very iconic. That's the reason I asked which one. And then like the Karate Kid um, series movies, they um they now like sort of jumping on to um, Cobra Kai. So. So are we including the reboot in the series? Like we're just taking it all together. Well, so I think we do because isn't the newer version? It kind of picks up where the old one left off, right? It's not no. A, related. No, it's isn't a reboot. It, isn't with, it the uh, same? With uh, what's his name, Jaden Smith? Yeah, That's but it like doesn't. A, yeah. It's not Swear a reboot. He died. Doesn't yeah, he it's die? not a reboot because in the original series they were going against Cobra Kai and Jaden Smith didn't go against Cobra Kai. And, yeah, and it's it's a little different. It's almost like it kind of picks up in like a new timeline, whereas like Longest Yard is just a remake. It's just like the same storyline and same and with the same sort of plot or premise, right? No, 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 no. Y'all are confused. The uh the Jaden Smith <laughs> Karate Kid is a total reboot. It's set in China. It's set in Singapore, yeah. The original Karate Kid is set in, you know, Encino, California. That's that's what I'm saying. It's still it's technically a different movie. Mhm. That's yeah, why that's I think we can see. consider You're saying it. like it's in a different period of time, right? Like mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's what, but I think I think that's why that's different than Longest Yard, though, right? Because Longest Yard is just basically the same movie it's the twice. Same movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. I guess the new Karate Kid is just like updated. You know, it's like newer. You know, newer. Yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah. they just made it to to appeal to the younger audience. Yeah, but it's not you. But would you say it's a? You wouldn't say it's like an exact remake of the original, no, though, right? Definitely no. not. Okay. No. Uh, next one on this list is this one is Bailey's Bennett's War. I've never seen it. Me oh, I just it. saw that with my dad a couple of days ago. It's on Netflix. All right, but Bailey, it's you're cool. you're gonna have to walk us through it then. I mean, is it worth the second round here? Because we're taking five and we've already gone through four movies that we yeah. like. 
I'd say it's a good movie, but I don't think it's second round worthy now that I think about it. This just a, <laughs> just a really feel good movie. Okay. What I said earlier when I got you guys on this, you guys have to defend some of these movies because I haven't seen all of them. Yeah. Or we haven't seen all of them. Okay. All right, here we go. Space Jam. Oh, yeah. Iconic. <laughs> for the kids. For the kids, for sure. All right. Definitely. But you can watch that like any day. It doesn't have to be for little kids. Space Jam. It Space Jam <laughs> continues. All right, that makes the second. I've never, I've never seen Space Jam. Space oh my Jam god! Comes out. I think it makes the second round. It is. It is really funny. I've got Uncle Drew in the holding pattern. Longest Yard. It's come up too often. I'm just going to automatically put it in. Oh yeah. Trouble, <laughs> trouble with the curve. That was you, Sid. Is that going to make the second round? It's not so much like a a playing sports movie. I think it's a good movie to watch in general, but I don't know if it uh, it should make the cut. It's more of like a, it's about um, this recruiter guy, uh, Clint Eastwood. He goes around and watches high school kids and college kids, and he's like getting their stats and stuff. So it's an interesting movie. Maybe not so much like for the face of Bridge, okay. um, but I still recommend it. All right, it's that out. Sounds but like it... draft day. That sounds like draft day. It's similar. Oh, oh it... draft day, yeah. All right, Coach Carter. <clears throat> yes. Oh, I was going to say no. Well, it depends. Okay, I've never well, seen um, that one. See, here's the thing. I think we take a basketball movie, but I think of the basketball movies we have on, that we under consideration, Coach Carter is the weakest of the three to consider. Because the other ones on here are yeah. Glory Road and Hoosiers. And I, I think of those three, I think Coach Carter is yeah. not as strong as Hoosiers or Glory Road. Is Glory Road the one with the guy from Sweet Home Alabama? Yeah. Yeah, Glory Road's okay. good. He, isn't that at, that at UTEP or something? Yeah, or I... it was you, – yeah, UTEP. Mm-hmm. Or what? Or used yeah, to be something else. One. Used to be something else and then changed to UTEP. But, all right, I'm, hey, I'm going to take out Coach Carter. And that was KG's nomination, but sorry, KG. Of course it was. <laughs> all right, I, Tanya. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh, don't get me started. That's my favorite movie. I just love it so much. Is it a sports movie, though, or is it a bio? Uh, it's kind of both because it's like it talks about what happened to – I don't know the girl's name. Like what happened Tanya. on the other Tanya Harding? No, the the figure skater that she was going against. Oh, Kerrigan. Oh, she. Yeah, um, she it talks about that, Kerrigan. and then it talks about like her life, and then it talks about figure skating. So it's kind. I guess it is kind of like a bio. I'm what not do you got- so sure. Uh, we want to like, like use Tanya Harding as like a model. For- <laughs> is it a? Pr- it's a pretty heavy movie too, right? Yeah, it's it pretty- is. Okay, I think it's worth talking about, but I think let's. I'll tell you, what, I'll move to the second round, but that may not make the the next round. How about that? I mean, yeah. Okay, I think we would be remiss to not at least talk about the two lacrosse movies on here. But let me be pretty honest; they're not up there with Miracle and Rumor of the Titans. So there's Medicine Game and there's Crooked Arrows. What do you guys think? Never seen. Any. Yeah, heard I've of any honestly of never seen either of them. I think that speaks uh, in volumes. Okay, <laughs> oh, well no. that that may be a part of the podcast we cut out because it it looks bad to not have lacrosse movies on our list of sports <laughs> movies for a lacrosse organization. <laughs> there just yeah, aren't uh, any good ones. I don't any. Well, there's so on. yeah, there's so few. Even, there's like, good movies that involve like scenes of lacrosse, but it's not like mainly about lacrosse. <laughs> yeah, well, like it came yeah, up. We someone brought lacrosse up, movies. Someone brought up is Mean Girls lacrosse movie, and I was like, no, it has lacrosse in it for the yes. last two seconds in the movie. <laughs> what about Hardball? Never seen it. Me either. Mm-hmm. So one with Keanu Reeves. It's pretty good. I like it. He's got that pretty memorable quote about what he loves about this team is their ability to just show up. Uh, that hits me. I'm, I'm, I'm in for that, that type of coaching quote of like, I'm so in awe of you guys just showing up. So. I always thought that was something you said. No. You got it from a movie? No. Now that, hey, none of my coaching quotes are original. <laughs> my heart hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to move it to the second round just because like, I love that quote. We're going to end it. <laughs> I just, whatever. <laughs> It, it is also a good, it is also a good movie. All right, hold on, hold on. We're getting we're getting there. Hoosiers. I think we need to leave Hoosiers in because it's old school. I know none of you guys have seen it, but we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, this one's the one that's worth debating. Invincible. The one with uh, Mark Wahlberg. Mark yeah. Wahlberg. 
Here's why I don't know if it should be in it. Solely because it's the Eagles. Wow. wow. That is a that good is point. Awesome. That is, we that are is a, a good point. We are a Dallas-based organization. If we put <laughs> – if we put – a Philadelphia Demari Eagles. Demari is not going to like it. Demari is not going to like Demari it. Demari is sure. not on this podcast. I know he won't like it, though. <laughs> is it a second rounder? Because I got to – we're not even halfway through this, sports fans. The thing is, I don't remember any notable scenes except for the yeah. one part where his girl sneaks in the rival team shirt. That's all I remember from it. Yeah, it honest- wasn't very memorable, no. And, and I think the fact that it's an Eagles movie – we're in Dallas. We are, we are a Dallas based organization. It's not as iconic as other movies. Yeah, I, I, I'm with Bailey too. I, it's, I can't think of like a super memorable scene. Okay, next one. Bring it on. That's Absolutely. a cheerleading one, right? Cheer, yeah. yeah. It may not be the most appropriate. I was about to say that. I don't really yeah. remember it. Like, okay. well, what is Bring It On about? Cheerleading. Cheer. Oh, yeah. Never seen I think it came out when I was in, I was probably your guys' age. Okay, so that didn't make the cut. Soul Surfer. Mm-mm. That's really good. Is that the one about the girl good. who got her arm bit off by a shark? Like she got attacked? Yeah. Yes. That's – I know surfing's a sport, um, but I don't, I don't know if it's – Sydney's dropping just, hot takes here. I just don't know. <laughs> it's not – It's got a good religious aspect to it, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's Carrie Se- Underwood, too. I love Se- her. Second rounder? Uh, no. I'd say no. no. Okay. No. All right. That's She's crazy. famous. <laughs> She's famous. All right. What about she the blind? What about the blind side? Oh yeah. Round oh. <gasps> second round. I love second that second movie round. So all right. Much. All right. All right. That's that's For automatic. Sure. All right. That's automatic. Okay. What about Mighty Ducks? About Never what? heard of it. It's a hockey movie. It's a hockey trilogy with Emilio Estevez, and it kind of starts out the same way a lot of these movies do it's like a coach who's like down on his luck finds some kids and becomes a hero in hindsight it's like super cliche but you know it's got some iconic moments the only hockey movie i care i I like and respect and like and stuff is um goon i like goon we already do have a hockey movie in this list too but it's tough to beat miracle it's tough to be tough to be miracle and by the way and i and i don't know we should have talked about that in ground rules we don't have to have a spread of sports. I mean, we could have five football movies, I suppose, but I figure a little variety is not the worst. Mm-hmm. The only thing about Mighty Ducks, and I think, Danielle, you were kind of talking about this in what makes a good sports movie, of just, like, watching them play. I think I mentioned earlier, I played hockey, and watching Mighty Ducks, I'm like, oh, that is not how that works. There's literally, in the second movie, there's literally a kid who can't stop playing for the USA team. <laughs> and in no universe... <laughs> I mean, that would be like you guys making the USA team and not being able to catch. Oh, no. It doesn't stand. You have to represent the sport correctly. Yeah, I don't know if I can keep it in just because there's a kid who's like, he's the fastest skater on the team, but he can't stop. That's not how you make the USA team. (laughs) Like, you have to be able to stop. So, okay, I'm going to take that out. What about Air Bud? Like Mike. That's cute. It's It's like a cute Disney movie, but... You know, I think that's no. about it. That's all I have to say about it. Yeah, okay. I'm getting a lot of nods. Here no, we go. No and memorable it, scenes. What about Bend It Like Beckham? No. Never heard of it. Never seen that. It's a soccer movie. It was okay. I feel like it was relatively popular, but I don't know. I can't really remember it. All right, moving on. Gridiron Gang. I'm trying to- Oh my God, I love that movie. <laughs> I recently watched it, actually. Like, I didn't know it was as old as it was. That's the one with with The Rock, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll move it on. This is the like Mike. like Mike. That's not on this yes. list. The Bow Wow movie. All right, hold on. I'm gonna put it at the end. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it at the end. You can't be throwing new movies on my list, man. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> All right, here we go. What about Kicking and Screaming? Hmm? Kicking um, and Screaming. It's a soccer movie with Will Ferrell. Never heard of it. Thought oh, we okay. said no, Will Ferrell. <laughs> That's fair. Little Giants. <laughs> Uh, I think I've seen that one once. I I'm gonna keep. I'm about it too, but then now stop. Right. Okay, I'm gonna move to round two only because it's hysterical and there's so many great quotes. We had it. I think we tried to make a JV girls play called the Annexation of Puerto Rico. What about the Big Green? (laughs) Do you guys remember that movie? No. All right, I'll take it off. League of Their Own. No. Never heard of it. 
Ooh, well, harsh. Yeah, that was a little harsh, Thomas. I have – okay, so here's the thing. Let's do this and because we're going to be on here forever if we don't start whittling these down. I have three old-school baseball movies right here. I've got League of Their Own, Bill Durham, and Field of Dreams. I don't think Bill Durham – I think Bill Durham's out. Okay. Did no one say the Jackie Robinson movie? Yeah, 42. Oh, uh, 42. All right, man. Yeah. We're just – we're adding movies. This is not – <laughs> This is not going is, well. There are. It's better besides than the Sandlot. I'm gonna yeah, leave. Besides the sand. I'm gonna leave a field of dreams to second round only because I don't want to get yelled at for not for taking it out in the first round. I just think it's too iconic of a movie to not at least put in the second round. We can take it out next, but. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, I guess. But we'll take it out in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take out League of Their Own. It's not hitting the chords with you all. 42 yeah. i think we got to leave 42 in just because it is such an iconic story mm -hmm. uh rocky oh. rocky four just rocky four just rocky four what do you guys think Ro the whole the we're gonna take the whole and it may be unfair because there's series. so many movies but i think you gotta take the whole rocky series yeah i say mm -hmm. i say just rocky four because that leads up to creed to the creed series and okay the creed series is really good I also well, think too, well, they all they all lead up to the Creed series. I mean, in one way or another. Yeah, and yeah, let's, that's part of the series, no? And let's be honest: of all these movies, the one with the best training montage, like Bailey and I were talking about, are the Rocky movies. Rocky. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Rocky training <laughs> montages are. <laughs> they're pretty classic. All right, here we go. Rudy. I've never seen that. Uh, he had a big dream. He got it. I got to at least move it up to the second round, y'all. Mm -hmm. I, I have my I have my arguments about... against it, but I guess we can go ahead and move it. Okay, right well, now. no, no, go. Let's do this. Go. What are your arguments against? I don't know if it's just the character or the guy who played Rudy in the movie, but <laughs> Sean Astin. Sean Astin, yeah. Sam I know, he rubs me the wrong way. He's just. He, I feel like he should have gone into finance or something. I mean, he wasn't. Uh... <laughs> Wait, what is he, happening? Well, I'm, I'm just saying, like, he, he wasn't, you know, that great at football. I get that he tried and he showed up and I don't know. I mean, they put him in. They got He got a sack on the last play, which I don't, I don't think, think that actually happened in real life. It, 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 I don't think it did either. <laughs> he should have been the team manager. Yeah, he should have been team manager. Uh, Sydney's, Sydney's throwing out hot takes. If you add Rudy, it's you a, have to add Forrest It's Gump. about perseverance. It's about all the things we talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but I just, You're just like, it's Notre Dame football. He didn't make the cut. Deal with it. Yeah, well, he just, he wasn't that good. He, I don't think he deserved, you know. What? If you you have to be good at something to do it. I mean, Sydney, you're a coach. What are you telling your, your girls by not putting in Rudy? Cut this part out. Cut this part out. <laughs> like, my coach doesn't believe that hard work pays off. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. I'm just saying, college <laughs> ball is, is a whole other beast, you know? Replace this part mm -hmm. with the um, elevator music. Yeah, yeah, take this part, take <laughs> this this is, part out. Okay. Put an add in. All right, the I, here's the thing, though. I think regardless, you're getting outvoted here, though. I know what you're saying, right? Sports are about competition. Sometimes you get cut. Sometimes you ride the bench. I think you're going to get outvoted here. What do y'all think? I am neutral, Switzerland. Oh, that, if, you that's... Add Rudy, if you add Rudy, you have to add Forrest Gump. And Forrest Gump isn't really that good of a sport. <laughs> what? Movie. It's like, not a well, sports movie. It's not a sports then again, movie. Well, it's no, but story. it's not. But then again, like, Forrest Gump was better than Rudy at football. And Forrest Gump that's only not, does not That's not the argument here. All right, we're not. Okay, disregard all of that. I'm putting Rudy in. We got to move on. I think this list is longer than when we started. Okay. We won't make it past the second round. Moneyball. Mm. And Moneyball's a good movie. It's like the directing, the acting is, but. It, it's a good movie, but. Yeah, but I don't know if we want it on our sports movie list, you know? It's definitely about sports, but it's not about the aspect of sports that we all think about. Right. And I think if we're making this list, you know, to represent bridge for our players. Okay. I don't know. I'm okay with that argument. What about the rest of y'all? Yeah, I agree. Okay. It's out. Here we go. Cool runnings. No, it's just that. so funny. It is pretty iconic. It's funny. All right. Glory Road. And it's based on a true story. That is a good point. The true story is when those hit. Glory Road. 
Chlora Road is good. Mm. That was I, a really yeah. good movie. Actually, I liked it. For a pretty, like, templated Disney movie, It's I like it. It gets my vote. All right, Friday mm-hmm. Night Lights. Oh, mm. oh, I don't... Come on, guys. David's getting mad. Okay. I don't ahead. know if I remember that one. Well, have you guys seen the show? Yeah, I didn't uh, see the yeah, show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just imagine the show, but better, and a movie. Oh, okay, but then, of course. <laughs> That's my summary. The movie is good. <laughs> All right. Okay. The I last two. Watch it. The last two, and and I'm just gonna take off because we have too many movies. We I gotta start. I gotta start making executive decisions here. What's the last two? I'm taking out. I'm taking off Uncle Drew and Like Mike. No questions hey, asked. Hey, yeah, hey, that's hey. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. Go ahead. Okay, we gotta well, speed this up. We do. We're gonna be here all day. We have 19 movies, y'all. Okay. We can <laughs> cut. We can cut it down to 10. Let's we get it down. Let's get it. Let's try to get cut, it down to, cut, to cut 10 Ruby. real quick. Cut root. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, Rudy's out. Oh, that's uh, all right. Fine, I'm cutting Rudy. That's Sorry. that's hard. That's hard. Daniela Thomas, you gonna stomp for Rudy here? <laughs> no. Yeah, cut it off. Oh, that's, that's that's cold. That's cold. I'm gonna take out I've heard, I, I've heard he was a jerk. You can okay. take out I, Tonya. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna take out not... I, Tonya. Oh yeah. Yeah, take it's, that. It, it, it's a good movie. So, so scary. If anyone's listening, it is a good movie, but it may not be. A, it may not rep the 10 that we want here. So I'm going to take that out. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about Longest Yard? Let's be honest. Longest Yard has some pretty inappropriate scenes. It's definitely it's a big kid. It's definitely an older kid movie. Do yeah. we want to keep this yeah, list? All ages? It needs, I think we need to consider age appropriateness because there are some inappropriate scenes. Yeah, just cut it off. Or maybe it's just been a while since I've seen it. All right, I'm going to take out Longest Yard. Okay, I'm taking Hoosier's accent if you guys seen it, even though you all should watch it. It's a great basketball movie. Let's see if we can cut out maybe a couple more. Mir- I've got Miracle, Remember the Titans, Keep Sandlot, it. Karate Kid, Space Jam, Hardball, Blindside, Gridiron Gang, Little Giants, Field of Dreams, Rocky, 42, Cool Runnings, Glory Road, and Friday Night Lights. Well, Space Jam automatically makes the list because if we're talking about kid appropriation, it doesn't get more kid appropriation. appropriation? Let's think about ones we need to we need to drop though. Gridiron I'll, Gang, maybe. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know Gridiron Gang. I'm, I can't defend it. It's really good though, like the motivational aspect of it. Is it more or less motivational than some of these other movies? It's more motivational, but Do, have yeah, you seen it? I haven't seen it. I can't. I'm not. I can't defend it. it. Because if you think about it, when you watch the movie, you sort of think of like kids that play sports that come from low-income families or, like, low-income places and stuff like that Um, and how they can make it and how they don't make it. Like, it just shows the good and the bad at the same time. Wait, what's this movie called? Gridiron Gang. Gang. It's The the Rock, right? Yeah, Yeah, he basically takes, like, juveniles and, like, turns turns them into, like, a football team. Like, everybody doubts him, but then they, like, Mm. you know, there's, like, racial... I'm okay with the prem. I mean, I'm okay with that. If Kid we're gonna appropriation again, because okay. like it has. I think you keep saying that. <laughs> it's not appropriation. You stop saying that. You're saying <laughs> you're saying that word well, wrong. The reason I'm saying that is because it has like it has one of the, not the rails. <laughs> it has a really really um not good scene for the younger people to. What's watch. it? Wait, wait, hold on. Someone, let me look it up. What is it rated? It's a. It's PG thirteen. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the. I'm okay with PG thirteen. I don't get what scene you're talking about. Let's not, if it's super it's a inappropriate. Drive-by. It's a drive uh, It's a drive yeah. It's not great. Ooh. Let's do this. Uh, let's, you guys, you guys, I'm convinced. I'm going to take out Hardball then, because Hardball is kind of the same premise. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to take out Little Giants. We're a little heavy football, even though Little Giants is hysterical. <laughs> little yeah. Giants is, isn't Little, little Giants is just like Sandlot, sort of. That's a good point. Yeah, you're right. It's a little Sandlot esque. Well, then um, it can't compare. Right. Okay. Well, just right. take it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough, Bailey. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We need. Okay. We're doing well. We need to drop three movies and then we can reorder our ten. I'm still saying Grand Gang. We can get rid of that. It's not going to make the top ten. There we go. <laughs> I have no problem getting rid of Gridiron Gang. I can't defend it because I've never seen it. Can we take out Field of Dreams? I didn't. 
Well, Isn't watch that it, the one Don with like the weird like if supernatural you, aspect? If, if you build it, they will come. What? Oh, Who's right. gonna come? Never, all right, I'm gonna delete it because you guys Aliens? are all born in the. You all were born <laughs> super late. Okay, all right. Feel. What about Gridiron Gang? Am I taking out Gridiron Gang? No. Oh. Yes. Right. <sighs> this is why we had the odd number because we can vote. Yeah. Okay. So we. Yeah, I'm taking yeah. out Field of Dreams. Democracy. We got to vote. Gridiron Gang. Those in taking it out. out. Those in favor of taking it out. Me. Yeah, I say take I, it out. Okay. Gridiron Gang's out. All right. We need to take out one more. Glory Road. Cool Runnings. Whoa. Never seen yeah. it. Cool Runnings. Yeah. yeah. You can take that out. Thomas, Daniela. I've never I say, seen that. I say keep it in. Why? Really I've never cute. even seen it. What's it about? He, it's about the gym. It's a true story. It's about the Jamaican bobsled team. It was a coach <laughs> from America. It's a true story made by Disney. Yeah, it's a Disney. Yeah, it's, a, it's an older Disney. But the premise is oh, true. Jamaica up. put together. Oh, you guys are killing me. Let me at least explain the summary of it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. It's about a co American coach who went to Jamaica because he thought that sprinters would make better bobsledders because they were so fast. Because so much of, of bobsledding is getting, off the, is getting your bobsled pushed off the line as fast mm -hmm. as possible. So he figured sprinters would make really good bobsledders. He couldn't get on a team or wasn't able to, to make it work in America or wherever he was at. And he ended up in Jamaica looking for sprinters and he made a, and they had a Jamaican bobsled team. And they didn't do well. They crashed, spoiling the ending here, but they had a pretty epic crash. But it was just like one of those like really awesome feel good moments, where they carried it to the end. Yeah, you kept on saying blob sled. <laughs> blob sled. Really blob sled. Is what I said. <laughs> blob sled. All right, all right. We got to vote. Who's in or out? Uh, I need to. Glory Road can be out. I think Glory Road's good. I like that was Glory good. Road. It sounds I will, good. I will say this. I'll take. I'll. T I take Cool Runnings over Glory Road though. Yeah. I've never seen Cool Runnings. I don't know. You said it was. A, they're both Disney movies, aren't they? Okay, yeah, wait. What are so we? Funny. What are we down to? We're down to eleven. Oh. We need to drop one more. We're. Well, I don't really trust. Um, I don't that really trust oh, Disney making a um making a a depiction of a um real story because sometimes they don't tell the full story. Yeah, well, Disney made both super, of those. But they're both. They? But they're both Disney movies. Yeah. I mean, you're super right. Loosely based. What about the blind side? Oh, that's definitely that, was, that, that stays. That is a good movie. It's I was, all right. I thought that was kind of cheesy. Yeah, if you take no, that one, it's got a really good message. Also, right. It does so have funny. a good message. I guess. I love okay. Sandra Bullock. Why is Karate Kid still in here? I don't know. <laughs> we can take it out. Yeah, I feel like we've got Rocky. I'm cool if you take out Karate Kid. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. We have ten. We had, we're down to ten. Do we want to reorder 10 or get down to our top five? No, we can't so cut any more out. Why don't we have Creed? Because we're Let's not reorder. Because you can't have Creed without Rocky. You can have, Ro you can have Rocky without Creed. My man. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here are our 10. Miracle, Remember the Titans, Sandlot, Space Jam, Blindside, Rocky, 42, Cool Runnings, Glory Road, and Fred and I. So we got to order these now, kiddos. Miracle is number one. Yeah, we've got to keep that up on. Start from number 10. Start from number 10. Yeah, I think we need to start from the bottom up. I hope that's going to be helpful. Okay, number I 10. think Cool Runnings, Glory Road need to be towards the bottom for sure. Base Jam can be in the middle. Five. Let's see. Mm, How about would we you... put... Go ahead. I'm thinking. How about we keep the bottom three where they are and we just figure out which is the worst, which is then the you know, order those. Because yeah. I think Cool Runnings, Glory Run, and Friday Night Lights, I, I kind of like them in the bottom three. Okay, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I I would say my three, and this is from 1098, would be Glory Road, Cool Runnings, Friday Night Lights. I agree with that. To me, my, it honestly seems good the way it is. Except, cool. yeah, put, put Cool Runnings at the bottom. Very bottom. <laughs> I put Glory Road at the bottom. No, we can't put Glory Road at the very bottom. Can uh, we put our, that one at okay. nine? All right, so, okay, I'm okay with that. Friday, so here we go. This is 10, 9, 8. So ten, number 10, Cool Runnings. Number nine, Glory Road. Number eight, Friday Night Lights. Mm -hmm. Well, I was actually going to say put Friday Night Lights at 10. But, you know. 
Yes. Yeah, you know, so I haven't, I haven't seen it, so I don't gonna, know. This podcast is going to be nine hours long. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, hold on. So this is a good debate here. Friday Night Lights, Glory Road, Cool Runnings. Can we agree on what number 10 is, or is that the debate? Number 10 is between Glory Road and Friday Night Lights. Okay. Friday Night Lights, I'd say, I'd say 10. Yeah, Friday Night Lights. Ugh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> All right, so Friday Night Light, Lights at ten. The number nine Cool Runnings and number se- uh, eight Glory Road. No. Yeah. No, cool Glory Road was bottom. nine. Okay, Cool Runnings is ahead of Glory Road. I ha- actually yeah. I'm okay with that. Okay, ten, nine, eight. So s- let's maybe do seven, six, five. Just seven, six. Just seven and six. I don't remember forty two to be honest with you. Yeah, it's obviously well, a great story, but I don't remember the movie itself. Well, don't put forty two at six or seven. It has to be higher. Uh, I don't. No I don't way. Know. That movie was. Has, I feel has, like the movie was. Meh. I think I sort of suggested it because of the actual story. Yeah, yeah that, well, that's why it's up there. there. The true story. The, the I, this is interesting because the true stories are hitting harder, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. well, especially forty two because you know he plays in segregation and stuff like that, so it's more difficult to do what he did. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Okay, so, so I think forty two should be five. Rocky should be seven, and um, what should be six? Lot six? No. Ooh, I disagree. No. Sandlot needs to be higher. I don't Let's have put a the blind p- side at no, seven. I mean, Space Jam six. Space Jam six. I say Blindside 7, Rocky 6, 42-5. Just based on movies, 42 should be 7. Because it wasn't that memorable to me. Yeah, yeah I kind of agree with it's that. It's much just a story. Friday Night Lights, Glory Road, Cool Runnings, 42. Then what mm-hmm. comes in? What comes Blindside? In, blind, I'm okay with that. Blindside? Blindside 6, mm-hmm. yeah. Then maybe Space Rocky. Jam 5. Space Jam 5. Oh, yeah. I think... Well, no, actually, if we still have Rocky on there, Rocky would be 5 and then Space Jam is 4. You think Rocky goes... Ooh, I, Rocky this is a good... Is... I think Ro- Rocky... Rock, you got to rank Rocky higher than Space oh, Jam. <laughs> well, I say Space Jam is higher because Space Jam is way more memorable. Like, it's super no iconic. Way. Like, Rocky's what? iconic. Rocky, yeah, Rocky. What are you talking about? about it, every about time it. I no, run up no, 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 a pair of stairs. Hear me up. Hear me up. If you think about it, if you think about it, none of us other than Coach David has seen Michael Jordan play. This is, like, coming from, like, a basketball standpoint also because Rocky is a good movie and I agree with that and so but I believe that Space Jam should be higher because you know we don't get to see how great you know basketball and stuff and how um how deep it was and all that stuff how basketball good how basketball was good back in the 90s and stuff and we get to we see can watch that you know, on YouTube yeah but, yeah, but it's it, not the same but, feel. but you're not watching NBA basketball you're watching Looney Tunes play against <laughs> aliens <laughs> It is iconic. Space Jam is not a documentary. <laughs> no, but when you think about it, it's not really Looney Tunes versus aliens. It's Looney Tunes versus NBA players. The aliens stole the bodies. But it. <sighs> but that's not what it's representing. Totally we're, voting. Yeah. we're all voting against you. Sorry, Thomas, you're going to lose this. I think Rocky goes above Space Jam. For sure. For oh, sure. Iconic. Okay, so does that leave. Here's what I have. Let me. Let me... Here's my here's the bottom f- six. Does that make sense? I like that. Okay, so we need to go to the top four now. Top four left, or the four left are Miracle, Ooh. Sandlot, Remember the Titans, and Rocky. I think we have to put Rocky at four. Yeah, I think so too. Rocky's at four. And then I think Miracle one, Sandlot two, and then Remember the Titans three. Yes. Mm-hmm. Remember the Titans. One hundred percent. Sandlot. Of, whoa, 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 whoa. I think Remember the Titans goes too. Yeah, Remember the Titans is too. We quote it so much. Literally, anytime anyone is like, I say, "Come on, my clothes are going out of style," and then they'll always reply, "They were already out of style." Like it's so <laughs> iconic. You can't. It. it I mean, here's the thing: the difference between two and two, in a list like this, the difference between two and three is not that 
is, is really insignificant. I yeah. actually, looking at now, I actually don't have a problem with this. So does that mean that remember the Titans of Sue? Oh, yeah. Three. Three. What? What? Here we go. Number one, this is, this is our first draft. Number one, Miracle. Number two, Sandlot. Number three, Remember the Titans. Number four, Rocky. Five, Space Jam. Six, Blindside. Seven, 42. Eight, Cool Runnings. Nine, Glory Road. Ten, Fred and Highlights. I still I disagree Blindside with Space I like that. About Space Jam. Say again, Bailey. Blindside should be above Space Jam. Mm. In my opinion. Nah. Thomas, what were you going to say? Well, Blindside shouldn't be above Space Jam because Blindside barely made it above 42. So, yeah. And Sandlot should not be number two. It should be remembered the Titans. Yeah, but we discussed this earlier. The place between two and three doesn't matter that much. I don't know. I think Sandlot's more fun to watch than Remember the Titans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm kind of going with I'm, – I'm, I'm leaning towards Thomas. I think Remember the Titans, thinking about Bridge. Bridge. Just yeah, but then if the Sandlot brings you back to, like, when everybody started playing sports. But – Y'all are talking about fun, and like I don't, I haven't watched Miracle, but from hearing y'all talk about it, that movie doesn't sound all that fun either. No, whoa, no, it's so good. Come on, so man. it's a really it's good like, movie. Well, fun, so I, hold on, I speak on two. it if you haven't watched it. So why should Sandlot be number two because of its fun? And Remember the Titans is like, you know, on a serious um, standpoint, talking about you know stuff that really happened and everything. Why should that be number three? instead of number two because if miracles number one and and our parameters were around kind of the weight of miracle remember the titans should then be number two two. because it is it is so close to the premise and a lot of the inspiration and motivation behind miracle i thought the parameters were just based on how good the movie was then definitely remember there's no there's there this is all entirely subjective bailey (sighs) This is not. This is not like a. We're no one's getting graded on this. I'll just say that. I feel like I am. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I'm. Con- I kind of see what Thomas is saying. Because like, the um the the justification that I have heard for Sandlot being number two is the movie is more fun. I come can watch it and then movie. come back to us. Yeah. To be fair, have Thomas, been. have you seen Sandlot? He doesn't I remember. Also, it. I only saw. I only saw the last half. Here's I, exactly. I was at a lacrosse game. That's the reason I missed it. I don't know. I think the reason that I'm like wanting to rank Remember the Titans a little lower is I've read a little bit more about what actually happened and they definitely like Well, you know, yeah, they Disney fied it pretty yeah. pretty heavy. Like they <laughs> I, weren't I, like they weren't all like, they weren't as close of friends as they were in the movie and I don't know. Yeah, but if that's the case, then we can't put Space Jam in there because it's literally a cartoon. (laughs) (laughs) There are no, there aren't actually Looney Tunes that are, that stole the, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like, this isn't a real list of, like, anything significant. Like, these are just fun movies that we all like that in a lot of ways represent a lot of the things well, that we Well, just like you we said, if we're them ranking them off of fun, if we're ranking them off of fun, Sam we're not. Washington no, 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 no. We're not ranking them off fun. We're just having a fun, a fun discussion. That's oh. my point. This is all completely subjective and random. This isn't something we need to really murder. Well, remember the time to still be number two, because even though they sort of Disney-fied it and stuff and sort of conjobbled the story and all that stuff, you know, it's still like... I'm going to put it at number two only because you were, used the word conjobbled, and I don't know what that means. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm the boss. I'm swapping Sandlot and Remember the Titans. This is outrage. Okay. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. These are all awesome movies. Every, actually, all the movies we really like went through were, are pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Like, I need These to watch, are all really good. Yeah, like I, want, I need to go watch Gridiron Gang. I kind of want to go back and rewatch the Karate Kid series. I need to watch series. Little Giants. Go watch Little Giants. Uh, definitely go watch Friday Night Lights. Go watch, yeah, Thomas Sheen. Yeah. Go watch Sandlot. Miracle. We have our list. I think that these 10 are solid. And I think, like I said earlier, represent a lot of the things that we love about Bridge and love about each other and the things that we've been doing within the organization. Coach Sydney, Thomas, Bailey, Danielle, thanks for doing this. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah.